This cleansing oil has literally become like one of my holy grails in my skincare. Gently melt everything away. Mm, I feel clean. I am fully converted. I am shook. This really leaves your skin feeling properly nourished. I just feel like my overall complexion has really just generally evened out and become brighter and healthier. Is this hotel room. This bathroom is everything. And the view of Han River outside. Look at that. It's not a bad day at the office. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Anna and as you can clearly see, I'm not in my usual setup. I'm at a lovely fancy ass hotel thanks to my cousin who hooked me up with this. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about skincare, what I do to look after my skin. And I tried out this viral hype skincare brand in Korea that everyone has been obsessing over. And I definitely want to talk to you about it. So. I get a lot of questions about Korean skincare because it's like a trendy thing on social media. There are things like the glass skin, double cleansing, the 10 step uh, Korean skincare routine and all that. And in my opinion, I think what sets Korean skincare apart to other skincare found elsewhere is that you can find just really no bullshit amazing products at really affordable prices. And I'm blessed to be living in Seoul right now. I just can't get over this view of the Han River. Obviously, because Korea is such a, like a lookist society, there's a heavy importance placed on looking good and stuff. So everyone cares about looking after their skin from an early age and including me. I would say my skin texture right now has been like really good. And that may be because I've been trying out products from this brand called Numbers In for the past month and a half or so. For those of you who may have never heard of Numbers In, it's this extremely trendy viral skincare brand that's like taken over the Korean skincare market. I've seen it all over beauty YouTubers channels and you guys like not to be like flexing or bragging or anything but like I get quite a few uh, offers for like collab sponsored videos and stuff but I only try to work with brands that I really feel like the products are genuinely worth recommending. After having tried out Numbers In's products, I am fully converted. I am shook. I can put my hand on my heart and say I know I'm recommending a good product. So I've genuinely fallen in love with the brand and to choose just three was really hard but I, I succumbed. So right now I'm going to tell you guys about it. Let's go. For me the most most important step in your skincare is cleansing. Removing all the sebum, the dirt, all the stuff that's accumulated on your face throughout the day. You have to get rid of it and keep your face and skin clean. So in fact the double cleansing thing that Korean women do is like they would go in first with like a cleansing oil or like a cleansing water and remove all their makeup and then afterwards go once more with like a separate cleansing foam to make sure that all the makeup is really properly removed. I tried number zins. Number one, easy peasy cleansing oil. This cleansing oil has been voted number one on olive young and olive young is like the sephora of korea a cleansing oil is the least damaging to your skin outer skin barrier than let's say a cleansing water or the worst makeup wipes honestly you guys i remember watching like love island uk and i would watch those girls at night removing their extremely heavy face of makeup with like one makeup wipe and they'll be like pulling and dragging on their faces and i would just like literally watch like horrified i would be like no stop what you're doing right now you're you're causing friction, your skin can get so irritated and cause it to sag and it's just not good. Just don't remove your makeup with a makeup wipe unless you have to, unless it's like an emergency. Oil dissolves oil, so cleansing oils are the most effective in removing all the makeup and whatever on your face. Oil cleanser because I don't use makeup wipes. It's honestly made the biggest difference in my skin, so that is how I take my makeup off now. I don't do it any other way. And honestly, this cleansing oil has literally become like one of my holy grails in my skincare. What I really like about this is, can you guys see this texture? It's quite runny. When you think cleansing oil, you think like really thick, viscous, like barely moving, but this one is actually quite light. And I love that because this doesn't make my face feel super like greasy and rich afterwards. Thicker oils, you have to work a little bit harder to like rub it in the skin. So I actually really like the fact that this is this kind of texture. So without getting any water on your hands or your face, what you do is you pump up the oil onto your hands. Clean hands obviously, but not wet. And then you just gently melt everything away like this. And it's really good at removing eye makeup too. I've noticed like you rub gently on your nose area and it actually targets the blackheads as well. 
and this is so much better on your skin barrier than a makeup wipe so I really feel like since I've started using this and I've like kind of gone in on my nose and stuff the size of my blackheads it appears to have like sized down like I said cleansing is the most important step in skincare so really really making sure you have everything off then you have like less acne spots so I'm gonna wash it off now I feel clean. So honestly, this is firmly taken up spout in my skincare routine. I am not gonna cleanse with anything else now. Love it, try it. Okay, so next up, after cleansing, you have Turner. And this is the number three numbers in Super Glowing Essence Turner. You can see that I've genuinely used these products since I received them like a month ago. I had seen this product being raved about in Korean YouTube videos and like there was this one beauty YouTuber. She had like 10 empties of these and I was like, okay. What's the hype all about? Well, you guys, I tried this and you know how some toners, you put it on your skin or you put it on a cotton pad, whatever, and then you apply it and it kind of already feels like, like after 20 seconds, the water has just like evaporated off your face. Well, this does not feel like that. First of all, look at the texture of this too. This is much more of a concentrated essence type. So it feels way more nourishing on the skin than typical toners. This has 50 kinds of fermented ingredients in it. It doesn't leave me like rushing to do the next step in my skincare because some toners that I've used in the past, I realized that those were just kind of all like water now because I would put on the toner and then rush to put on my moisturizer because my skin would already feel like it's dried out already. This really leaves your skin feeling properly nourished before you apply your serums and moisturizers and all that. I love this. And I'm clearly not the only one that thinks so because this went to number 11 like as soon as it launched on Amazon in the toner category so try this for yourself and you're gonna know what i mean mm, my skin is glowing so last but definitely not the least you have to finish off with some sort of moisturizer so we have the number five daily multivitamin cream numbers in really likes to keep their product names simple just naming it with numbers hence the name numbers in numbers in instead of coming up with like fancy names that is hard to remember it's just number five number three number one so easy, love that. So I think I've mentioned this in recent videos, but I'm like a big supplement freak. I try to look after my health in terms of like diet, exercise, and yeah, I take like lots of vitamins, omega-3s, collagen, and all that good stuff. So using this all-rounder, daily cream for your skin troubles it's like the equivalent of taking like you know supplements for your body and this cream actually smells like fruity like like clementines oranges so it actually feels like i'm putting goodness onto my skin and since i started using this a month ago like my skin barrier actually feels firmer and stronger which we love that don't we especially if you spent the summer out in the sun partying like i have then your skin is definitely in need of some tlc tender loving care so this product is actually crazy because it has 22 types of vitamin complexes and 27 types of nutrients including like those fancy beauty buzzwords like niacinamide retinol and alpha bisabolol and it's made with 64.5 percent of kakadu plum extract which apparently is the plant that contains the most vitamin c on earth but this cream is not sticky or greasy at all it actually leaves the skin with like this waxy smooth finish especially in the mornings before i put on my makeup i prefer to have this kind of texture cream rather than like a really sticky really glossy kind of cream and i just feel like my overall complexion has really just generally evened out and become brighter and healthier it just puts me in a good mood because I just know that I'm putting just good stuff on my skin So as like an all-rounder daily cream, like I don't think this can be beat So love this so guys that was it for my skincare routine at the minimum i just like to cleanse tones and moisturize and sometimes in the evenings i'll do extra steps like you know the daily sheet masks and one of the other numbers in products that i really love but couldn't put in here but it's like the number six deep sleep mask serum <gasps> that is so freaking good i also really recommend that too <laughs> But yeah, if you're interested in checking out these numbers in products for yourself, there's a link in the description where you can go shop it on Amazon or Shopee. And yeah, I'm feeling very happy and relaxed right now. I'm gonna take a bubble bath later. I'm very happy about this. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!